Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome back to Sunday School. It's good to be with you today um, as we get to study God's Word and hear what He's telling us. Maybe if you go to school here, you know where I am. Maybe you hear the fan, you see this metal cabinet, and you know exactly where I am. If you don't go to school here, you might not know where I am, and I'm going to tell you so you all know. I am standing here in school. This is where we send our the kids come when they're not feeling very well. We call this the medicine cabinet. And if you would, I'd show you my camera just right there. There's a bed that they can lay on when they're feeling sick. Right? When we're feeling sick, what do we do? Well, maybe we take our temperature and you run this across your forehead and you get your temperature and it will tell you 102 degrees and what do you have? You have a fever, right? Or maybe it'll say uh, 98.6 degrees and then you're you're fine, right? Maybe you come to the medicine cabinet because guess what? You tripped and fell and you got a big cut on your arm. So what do you need? You need a band-aid. You need a band-aid. Put that right there. Helps you heal it up. Maybe you're not feeling good, like you have a headache or um, you're you're get a, allergic to something. So what do you do? You get Benadryl, right? You get Benadryl that helps with your allergies, or maybe you're you're hurting, you've got a bruise, you got a headache, whatever it might be, and you take some medicine, ibuprofen. Here's the question. Do you go to the doctor though when you're feeling healthy? Do you come to the nurse's station and the medicine cabinet if you're feeling healthy and you have no problems? No! When you feel good, you don't need to come to the nurse's station. You only come here when, when you're feeling sick. Jesus uses that to teach you and me something. He was teaching some people around him too. Jesus was talking to people, they, they're called tax collectors. And the people of Israel, they did not like tax collectors. You can ask your parents. But really, they were these tax collectors. They would steal money from people. They would say, "You say you had a, you know, you bought something." They would say, "You owe um, ten dollars." But the tax collectors, because they wanted to get rich, they would say, "You owe forty dollars," and then they would take the extra money and keep it for themselves. They were they were greedy. They were dishonest. They stole money from people. So the people of Israel didn't like them. So Jesus was hanging out with these tax collectors. He was eating dinner with them. In fact, you know the book of the Bible called Matthew? Matthew was a tax collector. And Jesus said, come follow me. Come be one of my disciples. And Matthew followed him. And Matthew became one of the disciples. And we read from Matthew's gospel. It's pretty incredible. But when Jesus did that, all the Pharisees, those were the church leaders, all the Pharisees said, Wait a minute, Jesus. Why are you hanging around these tax collectors? They they are stealing from people. They're not good people. Why do you want to be around them? And you know what Jesus said? He said, when you're sick or, or when you're healthy, do you go to the doctor? No. The doctors aren't there for healthy people. Doctors are there to help sick people. They're there to cure sick people. Jesus says, in the same way, I, Jesus, the Savior, did not come to save people who had no sin, but I came to save people who are sinful. He made that, that comparison. Sin is, is bad and it needs to be cured because it's, we are born with it and we have it. And Jesus said, I'm here to take care of it. So Jesus said, I came to save the sinful, not the righteous. We're very thankful that Jesus said that because we're sinners too. We were born with sin. We know all the times that we've done stuff wrong. You can think about it, all the times that you've done something wrong. You know that when we don't listen to our parents or um, when we're mean to our friends and when we, maybe we sometimes are greedy and dishonest like the tax collectors and we try and take things for ourselves. When we don't listen to God and his word, we're sinning. But Jesus told you and me that he came to save people like you and me. He came to save sinners. And we know he did because where do we look? We look to the cross, don't we? We look to the cross where Jesus paid for all of your sins. He washed them away. They're gone from you. And now you are one of Jesus' disciples. Just like Matthew. You follow Jesus and you know where you're going. You don't have to wonder. You're going to heaven to be with Jesus forever because 
Jesus came to save sinners. And he saved you by dying and rising. And he, he brings you that forgiveness through his word as we listen to God's word. And we thank God for that. So whenever you see a medicine cabinet, what I want you to think about is how Jesus came to save sinners because you think sickness, sin, and then you can say, Jesus saved me. He healed me. He's taken away all my sin, and so I'm going to heaven. What a wonderful thing. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, we give you thanks for coming to this earth to save sinners, to take all of our sin away by dying on the cross. Help us spread that message to other people that in mercy you have come to save us, and you do, and you forgive us each and every day. Keep us safely in your hand until you bring us home to be with you forever in heaven. Amen. We'll see you guys next time. Hopefully you read those sections of scriptures and have a good Sunday.